Hello everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm Paula and I am here today to do two things. I'm going to do basically two videos into one today. Um, we're going to go over my my um, last paycheck for the month of September. Um, what actually hit my account and then we're going to do a quick cash stuffing. So if you are interested in content like that, please hit the subscribe button. Please um, select the bell notification button so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you would like to. I really appreciate you guys um, sending me messages and commenting. Before I get started, I want you guys to check out Budgeting April's um, videos. She has done something totally new, which I think is wonderful. Um, I, I forgot to do the list of the BCL groups on my previous video. I'm going to do two groups on this video um, because I still did not print out the list so you guys can see it like you know i have my paper and i just kind of talk about the youtubers that um we're supporting so don't forget to do that i'm also going to list my sister's etsy shop she has some awesome pins and keychains and mouse pads and coffee mugs and tumbler cups on her Etsy shop. She's wonderful. She's awesome. So I do believe now she is doing um, a pin and a keychain set, which I think is wonderful. Um, I'm also, I believe she has a coupon code and I will leave, if she has that open and available, I will leave that coupon code in my descriptions below. So if you want to purchase any of her items, you can definitely use a coupon code if she has it available. All right, so let's just jump right into what we've got going on. I don't want to spend too much time. Um, it's a beautiful day outside today and I'm hoping to soak up some sun while I'm sitting in carpool. Y'all, you know, I gotta get it in when I can. Um, I don't really have anything other than my son's terrible clipboard, unless, cause he draws on his clipboard. I can use this, yeah. And we can kind of go through. So, for everyone that's new, I hope you all can see this. I did not bring my lamp. So we're using the sunlight. Um, and just the regular light from the room that I have here, but normally I have like an extra set of lights so you guys can see, but we're just going to deal with the use of wonderful, beautiful sun and the lights here in this room. If you are new to my channel, um, I do want to point out that there are some previous deductions that you won't see, um, in any of my budgeting work worksheets or videos. And that's my tithe giving. Um, my house down payment, we are in the process of saving for a home. Um, so you won't see that down payment amount included. And then you won't see the current household obligations, things that I do um, purchase and help and, and pay here to, towards things that needs to be done in the house to keep this wonderful house running. We all live with my sister if you are new to my channel. So... <clears throat> What I budgeted for was $1,359. I received after these deductions, um, what I'm working with here and able to use is $1,383, which is an increase of $24, of which I am grateful and thankful for any amount of increase that I am able to have. So I think I want to do it like this. Okay, I'm glad I did bring my um, calculator because I see I didn't finish the calculations. So basically nothing really changed except for uh, this paycheck because it's a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. Um, I'm not going to contribute to giving or impact night uh, for this month. In fact, we have impact night this week. We will be eating at home before we leave. So yeah, that's it. So the 
total amount, and I can do it here if you guys can see. I'm just going to add it up real quick once again. 106 um, for my health insurance, 74 for truck, and 391 does leave me with um, totals up to be 574, of which I believe you guys can see. We're going to take that and we're going to say the 1383 minus 574 leaves us with 809. We're going to take that 809 and we're going to bring it down here to our variables. I'm just going to double check. Um, I did increase and put, instead of $5, I'm going to give the girls $10. I'll give Caleb $40. Um, the girls have um, more, a little bit more money than Caleb does, and he does chores. I need to start increasing Jordan's um, savings, I think, in her checking, or maybe, yeah, in her checking account. Because she does, while well, she's um, not working because she's in school, she does do chores so I can give her some more. So that'll start in October. Um, I want to try to make it as equal as possible. But these are the savings challenges that's go that goes into the binder that I call um, Mama's Peace of Mind. So they did get an increase there. Um, but everything else stayed the same. So let's add up everything. Oh, I did take out this. Instead of it being three hundred six for food, um, it's three hundred dollars. And I think I wrote this is a note to myself that I think I'm gonna purchase online a major order online uh, to have that picked up. I did run out to the grocery store, and in fact, that money has already been that money has already been um, stuffed in my bi oops in my binder. So I'm going to use my marker. I started doing this uh, a few videos ago, but I'm going to go ahead on and mark this as already being stuffed just to keep a track of it. So that's already an envelope because I did run out to the grocery store today. Um. Okay, so let's just add up. I will include it, though, in my calculation since we do have it here. It's just not going to be over here in the cash tray. So we got 200, 300, 34. I did increase household. I see that now. 5 plus 5 plus 25, 10 and 10 and 40 and 30. Yep, we've got 659. We're going to minus the 809, leaving us with 150. So the 150 goes up here just to make it. Oops, you guys can't see. I'm over in the seeking funds. My um, paycheck was really small, smaller than what I ex you know, expected or normally get. I am grateful to have a job, number one. So I don't want to say like it was small. No, it's not small. It's just smaller than my usual. And I believe this is the paycheck for uh, when I was out on my birthday. So um, everything is not actually my, this this um take home amount is not my normal. And, but yet I am still grateful for everything. Um, as you can see, I did increase my student loans to, instead of 80, bumped it up to um, 100, okay? I think my numbers are off in a little bit uh, because that's $20 right there. So that should only have remaining $4 left. So I don't know, because that's 10 when I bumped up the girls. That should be 30. Is my calculations right? We'll add it all up in a little bit, guys. Because I know this right here is right. My my um, increase might be a little bit more than what I wrote down. So, that leaves me with $50 left. And so, I'm going to take that $50. 
and I'm gonna put it towards emergency fund. That's gotta be that's gotta be my twenty four dollars is not right because I even increased my emergency fund. Um, so we'll do that all. At, we'll do that now. Actually, let's go ahead on and do that now because you guys can see I brought down that fifty. Put that 50 in the emergency fund, which leaves me with a zero-based budget. So let's see what we have. We're just going to do the adding to see if we get the, sorry if you guys can't see, the 1383 first. Okay, so we've got 50 here. We've got 100 here. Nothing over in seeking funds. We've got $30. 40, 10, plus 10, plus 25, plus 5, plus 5, 34. I'm going to add the 300, 200, nothing, nothing. Then we've got 391 for capital one, 77, and then 106. Yep, yeah, we got 1383. But our, our increase, something is terribly off. That's 1383. Um, because I gave the girls an additional five dollars a piece. Let me do this difference here of the, the 50 from the 29. That's $21 difference. I'm going to write that to the side. So the $21 plus the 5 and the 5 for the girls. And then the $20 here. So I'm actually a difference of... Honestly, it really doesn't matter because I have everything cash here. Uh, but I just want my numbers to be right. And it may be a difference in my amounts up here for my previous deduction. So... It all works out. It's just here on the paper doesn't look right. So we will see. I am using um, the Budget Moms envelope breakdown, cash envelope breakdown. That's where I'm going to um, keep a track of everything uh, my, with my denominations. Okie dokie. You guys can tell I'm pausing because I don't like my numbers to be off. So I will set my binders here. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to move. I think I'm going to take out only the purple marker. Oopsie. I dropped my marker. Take that out. Put this back clipboard up. Slide this tray. We are going to first stuff our daily binder. And let me see. I had some envelopes in my daily binder that I need to take out. I normally keep my tithing envelope in there, so I'm going to take that out. I already have my food, and that's fine. You guys can see my food is fine. Food envelope is fine. Um, mama, um, uh, we can do Caleb first. He's the first envelope. So Caleb is getting two twenties. He's getting a total of wait, what? Two tens. I'm sorry, two tens, two tens, two fives, and then ten ones. Hope you guys are having a good day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That should be 10, 20, 30, and 40. So he's getting 40. Some of this, you know, guys are going to go over to his savings challenge. He never spends all of his money. Um, then I will highlight this. He's already... Got that out. It is so nice. Our mornings are starting to be cool down in the south. Um, so, yeah. 
fall is not not knocking at our door so i'm excited for it i like the fall weather i love the colors here household is getting 35 it's getting three tens and get that bent i think the last four ones yeah so the ones are gone I may put this household money over into my Capital One envelope and do an order online. I'm really liking the fact that, oh, that's already highlighted um, because I was going to stuff it into Capital One envelope, that I um, get to order online and just pick it up curbside. Um, drive through is getting three tens. I went to the grocery store and I'm gonna go ahead on and cook dinner. We we'll probably do steaks, peppers, and onions, or like steak stir fry, fry peppers, onions. I did get some broccoli and some rice. I think that is all for my daily. Nothing else getting stuff. Like I said, we um, yeah, because we didn't do impact. And we're not spending out anything from the drive-thru. But, um, let's see if I can sit that right there on top of that. We, uh, I really do enjoy, I have no idea, guys, what I was talking about. My mind is really, to be honest with you, my mind is still stuck on the numbers on that paper. That's why I'm pausing while I'm talking because I'm like, man, what went wrong? Um, because I do believe I've got all of my monies correctly we are looking for household not household but holiday food I, see, I i don't know if you guys saw my gifts envelope is empty i took that monies out and i will continually be stuffing that so um throughout the time that i have to purchase and do a special christmas gift for someone I think you guys I remember doing a um, like a bill swap so you may see that my envelopes are not stuffed with like a lot of fives and ones I was able to do a bill exchange and a cash swapping so holiday food has 20 40 5 6 7 8 48 dollars <throat> this is going to be for Thanksgiving and Christmas food shopping and my local grocery store just did a display today with um let me see is there anything else in here i don't think so oh. um a display for pepperidge farms stuffings um the the christmas stuffing that you have like the breadcrumb bags they actually had that already so yeah, I'm I'm so glad that I have been saving all along for um for Thanksgiving and Christmas shopping because I got a feeling prices are gonna be expensive. Now they're gonna be you know they're gonna bump up the price. These two ten dollars it's for Lauren and Jordan's um savings challenges. So I'm gonna say, oops, paycheck two actually i'm just gonna put yeah so that i'll know that this money came from and we'll do a savings challenge probably in october and yeah, just something to sell a note that i'll know and i will clip these together and put them in the safe and then we will pull that pull that out when we get ready to do a savings challenge cash stuffing. So I'm gonna mark through. Oopsie. I'm gonna mark through Lauren and Jordan. So we only are stuffing. Um, oh. Actually, this is going to be for something else that I did not stuff. So 
Sorry, guys. Money that was there wasn't supposed to be there. Um, student loan and emergency fund in my... This is like long-term, serious, bill money, you know, just savings, things like that. Things that I do not want to pull from. So, um, emergency fund is getting $50. I'm really glad about that, too. I really am. Um, so, right now, we've got 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 250, 275. So, we have 275. So, we got one. Put this 50 to the side. One. Two, three, four, one hundred. Because that's two hundred. And then we've got fifty, seventy-five. I'm kiddo king. Those darn fifties standalones. They always get me. So I have been talking to um for for my job, just so you know, um, I love my job. I love working for the company I work for. Unfortunately, they do not offer health insurance. And I believe my health insurance will be taking a increase. I've got to make some adjustments to my policy um, or my insurance plan, health insurance plan. So I just did an envelope, health insurance adjust, which means adjustment. So right now it's just sitting with, what is that? 25 extra dollars in it. I may um, continue to stuff that money's um in october so we'll see and student loan is getting the whopping 100 dollars, y'all i i'm so grateful for everything that's going on with the student loans i'm just not quite sure how all it is going to work out for me and i just want to make sure that i am prepared so that is 100 50 200 I'll do it right since we don't really have that much. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 320 dollars. That is amazing. That's great. That's really, really great because I don't really know how much my monthly bill is gonna be um starting in January. Um every time I check and I make a phone call, they're saying that nothing's been posted yet. They're still working, so please be patient. I can take this out. That's old. So we've got $320 waiting for student loans. I think that is amazing. Um, taxes won't be getting anything, but this is to pay um, the people that do my taxes for my tax filing of 2022 next year. So that's that. And then um, I've got a little envelope that I'm just saving. I don't know. Saving some monies for. It's just that it says savings. I don't know. I just put it back there. Um, and I, I put it back there and in this black envelope is because I don't really go into this envelope for anything. Not even like anything. The only time like if there's an emergency emergency, I would definitely go to my emergency fund. But I don't mess with this binder. And that's a good thing. So I have an envelope back there that says savings. I, I don't even know what it's for. And I probably doesn't even have much. But yeah, it's back there. Um, and I put a sticker up there that says blessing. So maybe somebody gave me some money. I think I got a date on it. I don't know, y'all. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. We did a two-in-one video. I am going to put um, this money in the girl's binder, but I'm not going to put it in their envelopes. I don't know if you guys have a binder like this, but they have little pockets on the side. And normally, if I'm not ready to film a cash stuffing video uh, so that I can keep the money separate, I'll just put the monies in these little side pockets here. I definitely like label it so I won't forget what is going on with it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think I did have enough. Yeah, because I didn't have enough for cash and cash stuffing my household, um, my house category binder, that blue binder. I didn't have anything available. Any money's available, but that's okay. That was my pay, my last paycheck for September. We're going to stretch out all the money that we have budgeted for to get us through into October. October, prayerfully, hopefully, everything will start to pick up again. This was a smaller check, but y'all, I am so grateful to have a job. I'm so grateful to have a paycheck that I am um, able to 
to be able to budget with and to save for. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.